Yeah. Uh, what does it say about this defense and that give up a touchdown in, in over a month? Man, he wants to work hard. <laughs> Is that something you knew? Nah, I don't pay no attention to him. Cameron Pett weighs 17 yards. Tell me about containing him and in, in whole interior. <laughs> you trying to trick me. <laughs> no. no. I mean, it was, we just had to play our guys, man. Play, play defense sound, defense technique sound, and everybody do their job. Brian, what you see from Darius today? What I always see from him, he's a dog, man. It's like a receiver out there with a defensive mindset. And he just punish people. You see him? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Saban was just telling us. How about that pass he threw, too? That was just, he, yeah, he played quarterback, though. Yeah, so, yeah. He can throw. He's been telling me he could throw for a while. <laughs> he's been waiting for that. Yeah. Saban told us that he drew up some of the plays at halftime that all of them were going to run. Is there any percent that you guys knew what to be prepared for? Or? Pretty much. Pretty much. We, I mean, it's it's all about doing what we do every every week, man. You gotta watch film, get in there, watch every film, pick up on the tendencies, pick up on keys, and you gotta go out there and play them. I and once you do that, you put that extra work in, and the game slow down for you, and you know what's coming. They played a number of different quarterbacks. I mean, they were totally kind of uh, scratching their heads back there, and and and. Uh, and uh, no offense to them, you know, they had some injuries back there. But did that affect you at all? It didn't seem to, to bother you guys. Who was back there for that? No, like I said, like I said last week, when y'all asked me that, you can only run one quarterback at a time. One gonna, one gonna get the snap, one gonna throw the ball, and one I'm gonna hand it off. It's, it's football. Ron, do y'all talk amongst yourselves about just how many minutes of game time y'all have gone since y'all allowed a touchdown? No, I will like I say, no, nothing about that. Honestly, I know you guys got more games to play, but what does it mean to have an undefeated record? Oh, well, we 0 0 right now. We gotta go 1 0 next week. When John Franklin went in there, did y'all just expect them to run the ball or run three plays? Yeah. So you just got kind of pulled your ears back a little bit? Yeah. Like, we didn't expect them to throw as much as they did on third downs, and they did a lot of different stuff, so. That well, slowed us down a little bit, you know, what pinning our ears back and stuff. So, they definitely, we want to prepare for that part of it. Talking about your sack, you know, obviously it looked like you missed on the first go through, but you able to come back and get them on the back end. Yeah, the effort, man. Just got to play in Alabama football. Brian, you guys did do a lot of crazy celebrating afterwards. It looked like you just finished a 40 hour work week and getting ready to go to work next week. Yeah, yeah man, we got to get ready to go 1 0 next week. Coach Saban talked about how important the SEC championship is to this team. Forget about the Final Four and the championship, right? I mean, you guys want to be SEC champions. That's the next game, so that's the, that's the big game. We're not worried about none of that. We're worried about the next game right now. When teams and players start worrying about a, a Final Four and all that, that's where they get beat. You know, you're worried about stuff that you can't control. We can control who we play with, what we do this week, and how we prepare to go play this game championship, and how we can affect the outcome of that game. I'm not worried about the Final Four, none of that right now. When it's time for that, we'll worry about it. Ryan, this defense has got, I mean, demands so much of its 